My name's Mike Fullerton. I'm a Scottish artist living here in Krakow. And we're here today at Fort Borek in Kleene in Krakow to have a look at some of the work from my latest exhibition of abstract map paintings. Welcome to the exhibition. Let's have a look and I'll try and give you some information about some of the work. Starting with New York, we've got the New York subway here. Really bright colors with this one, fluorescent spray paint. I have a memory of standing at the top of the Empire State Building at nighttime, looking across Manhattan. And I wanted to try and capture that um, with these simplified colors, this one. Here we have a very colorful one of the UK, the major cities in the UK, blending into one another. I had to include one of my home city of Dundee with the fantastic River Tay running through it. I think this is one of my favorite ones for the moment anyway of San Francisco. Not a metro system with this one, just the main transit routes. I've always found San Francisco a really interesting place cosmopolitan, vibrant. Try to capture that with this one. This one here has a combination of a couple of different styles, slightly more minimalist, merging with the more grid-like, pixelated feature of uh, Barcelona city itself. When you look at Barcelona, a bird's eye view, it's really quite an incredible looking place, very dense, but I didn't want to make this one too geometric. I tried to combine it with more space, minimalist, but also still give a, get a sense of the density of the city itself. Here we have Paris Metro. I don't often include landmarks in these paintings. I don't want them to be too literal or an exact replica of the maps, but with this one, I think maybe the only time I did include the Eiffel Tower there, the starting point. A slightly different direction with this one, European capitals. but I guess you could also say it looks like some kind of solar system. Here we have world capitals, not all of them, but I wanted to include enough of them to give people an idea geographically of what it is with, before they even look at the title. So I think a good starting point is Africa. I think that's uh, quite obvious there. And then from there, you can work around the painting. And I decided to use a very minimalist background for this one, simply because it's world capitals. I, I wanted to simplify it, not make it too chaotic. I had to include one of Krakow, of course. I've been living in Krakow for many years now, and I still love going into the old town and walking around, never bored by it. It's such an amazing place, looks incredible, full of life all throughout the year, a beautiful place. Here we've got one of the, probably one of the most iconic metro systems in the world, it's the London Underground. I spent a fair bit of time on that myself. Again, I didn't want to make it too obvious, so it can take on the look of a 
color blindness test. You can get lost in the, the colors, but depending on how close you stand to the painting, it can look quite different. Perhaps the further back you stand, the clearer the roots will look. I remember spending a week walking around Rome a few years ago, and it's one of the best ways to see the city. I always remembered that time. And it's such a, a beautiful place. Again, just full of life and color. So I try to use colors that reflect that, really vibrant colors. And finishing here with Berlin Metro and a city map of Oxford. Again, Berlin has a very distinctive metro system, a very distinctive map, it's a hexagonal shape, really interesting, as is the city itself. Made the lines more obvious with this one, made the roots a really deep blue color. Whereas with Oxford, a city map, almost like a night view. So a combination of the, the green, which represents the, the park areas, the green areas of the city. I've always been interested in the layout and the patterns of maps, uh, simple maps. And I wanted to take a more abstract approach to that to interpret them in a different way, sometimes simplified, sometimes more complex, um, with a variety of locations throughout the world, sometimes metro systems, uh, simple city maps, transit routes, to really reflect the cities themselves, the character of the cities, uh, the life, the change, the progression, as time goes on. So the exhibition is here at uh, Fort Borek in Kleene. It's a beautifully renovated building, uh, reopened in the summer of this year. And the exhibition is open every day, including weekends from nine o'clock to six, seven o'clock in the evening. It can be accessed through the main door, the main entrance, or through the nice cafe they have here as well. You can find more examples of my work on my website, Facebook, and Instagram.